Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Build Monday. Everybody's favorite day of the week despite the fact that it is Monday. But this week, guys, I think it is everybody's favorite day of the week because it's Christmas. It is Christmas Day. Um, Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, Merry Monday. Because, you know, it's a, still a cool Monday. Um, yeah, it's Monday and it's Christmas, which is awesome because I get to do Speed Build Monday on Christmas, which makes it that much more special. Um, and today I am building none other than a Christmas house. And I feel like I've said Christmas way too many times now. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's a family home. It's not overly Christmassy. It's not like I put Christmas everywhere. It's just sort of what a family would normally have. Um, it's actually quite a big house. Uh, it's, what is it, four bedroom, four bathroom, something like that. Uh, it's big, it's nice, it's cozy. Uh, I quite like it. I have snow on the ground now, but there was a glitch that I'm gonna explain later that you'll see me freak out at and be like, what is happening? Where I have to uninstall the snow mod because it wasn't updated for when pets came out. So therefore it didn't really work that well. Um, so I had to uninstall it because something happened with my couches, which I will share with you once it happens. But yeah, um, I hope everybody's having, 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 having an awesome Christmas. Um, this time when it goes live, I'll be probably eating lunch, skating maybe. Well, have eaten lunch and then going skating with my family. Um, yeah, I'm about to right now, uh, go do some last minute wrap <laughs> on Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve for me, so... I kind of left some things to the last minute, but you know, it's, uh, it's all okay. I did fine. Um, next year, I'll try and be on, on top of it, but I feel like the more adult I become, the less time I have this time of year. Also, the more stress I have, because I start to realize things. Wow, I sound like Kylie Jenner. Um, I start to be able to see the stress in other people instead of just being a kid and be like, oh my goodness, Christmas is great, and blah, blah, blah. I start to see, you know, the signs of people being like, I really hate this holiday. And I am also like, I couldn't find a present. I spent probably three weeks trying to find my mom the present I wanted to get her. Had to go with something different. That was stressful. Money stressful. Everything is stressful this time of year. But I also do like to just sit and enjoy it and be like, you know what, let's let the stress dissipate and leave my body for a few minutes and I will go have a nice hot bath and just enjoy Christmas. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited for tomorrow, uh, which is today for you guys and today for me when I'm watching this, which I won't be, I won't watch this back. Also, at the end of these videos, I usually do a fly through, but I didn't have time being the holidays and everything. So you guys are gonna get some screenshots instead. I hope that's okay. I wasn't even sure I was gonna be able to do a voiceover, honestly. I thought I was gonna have to just put Christmas music behind it, but I'm here with my voice. So you're welcome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we are supposed to get snow. We were supposed to get snow starting like a couple hours ago. But it hasn't started. I'm going to check the weather because I'm really worried that we're not going to get it. And I have not had a white Christmas in a very long time. Um, oh no, it's still supposed to come. So hopefully we're supposed to get a little bit of snow tomorrow um, on Christmas Day, which is nice. And Tuesday's supposed to be quite nice. Wednesday, a little bit of snow. Thursday, quite a bit of snow. And it's supposed to taper off into rain, which is really nice because I don't want to have to deal with the snow. Oh yeah. I don't, it's fine if it's holidays and I don't have to go anywhere. It's not fine if I have to drive in it and go to work every day because we're just not prepared for it. Our city's never been prepared for it. We will never be prepared for it despite the fact that this is the second year in a row that we've had a bad winter. I mean, last year was a lot worse, but we are supposed to still see quite a few uh, centimeters um, in the next week. So that's fun, always fun drive in the snow it's not it's horrible even with a 4x4 and winter tires it still sucks you know because I'm not so worried about my car I mean my car can handle it it's everybody else's who didn't get their winter tires it kind of sucks um anyway uh this um this house is 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 very nice I actually quite like it I went for like a cabiny outside feel but a very family inside it's not a cabin it's got tons of room and uh honestly a little bit too much room i made it a little bit too big but that's okay i think i filled it quite nicely especially with the christmas stuff it just makes it a lot easier because you got these big trees that are just like oh let me take up you know half of the space and it'll be fine <laughs> um yeah i'm very 
I'm bittersweet that tomorrow's Christmas because at the end of the day tomorrow, I'm going to be sad because it's going to be over. And I just, I love Christmas movies. I love this time of year. But usually at the end of the day, on Christmas Day, I will be sad. But then on the 26th, I'll be very antsy to get to New Year's because I just want that. I don't know, every New Year's is kind of like a fresh start. Even though I don't really have any New Year's goals this year coming, I did quit a few of my New Year's goals for 2017, which was to stick to a schedule on YouTube for these videos, which I didn't miss a single day, which was pretty awesome. Um, pretty proud of myself there. So 2018 will just be continuing that obviously. And then 2017 was also to start streaming, which I did uh, a little bit later in the year. And um, also to graduate college, which I did. So that's a huge one as well. Um, so I did complete everything, which is awesome. And just a huge pat on the back for me, I guess, to have completed my New Year's resolutions. I don't think I've ever really written ones that I've was really going like I knew I was going to do there are like ones that are like you know be more organized I didn't want to do those this year because I knew that it wasn't gonna happen like I've tried so many years before to be like clean your kitchen every day or like make your bed I do make my bed every day but I never used to um you know it's not it's not something I find realistic things and not important um things you know keeping to a schedule and starting streaming and all those things were things I really wanted to do and really wanted to set my mind to so I thought they were totally achievable which apparently they were because I did it and yeah so this year going into 2018 I think my goals are going to be saving money because I'm really bad at that right now and I, I used to be so good at it um but saving money and um just sort of, I don't know, working, continue to do a schedule, uh, keep my schedule on Twitch is going to be a big one because I've sort of been on and off with it because I started closer to the holidays, which is a little bit of a busier time for most people. So I want to keep to a strict schedule for Twitch as well. And I feel like since YouTube went so well this year, I thought I'm pretty sure I can do it. Uh, hopefully Twitch is a little bit different because um, you have to be a little bit more, I don't know, put together when you're doing Twitch because uh, it's live and it's not like oh I can record all the pieces and edit it later sort of thing it's like I have to be on point right now and if I'm tired then it's really hard I find that a big struggle when it comes to twitch is that after three or so hours I get tired and I don't want to be doing it if I'm tired because then I'm not into it and it's just like who wants to watch somebody who's yawning all the time nobody wants to watch that so I usually end my streams around three three and a half hours um, I'm hoping to push it up to four hours but we'll see with working full time, it's gonna be pretty hard to do that. So I'm sticking to three right now, three days a week to give myself sort of a buffer and not, I don't wanna overdo it. Do you see this? Do you see this? Hold on, do you see what's happening here? Did you see that? The couches were disappearing. They were just vanishing. And I was like, what is the matter with this? So I tried to exit on my game and reload it. Didn't work. And I was like, you know what it is? It's the snow. I know it's the mod. So I uninstalled the mod, which is why you see saw the snow lift. Anyway, that's the whole reason my couches were disappearing. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think three days a week for Twitch is good because I don't want to overexert myself to the point where I'm dreading streaming. It's fun and I want it to be fun. So if I want to stream uh, four days a week, then I'll do it that week. But I don't want it to be expected that I'm going to do it four days a week. Three days a week is totally attainable for me. It is... Uh, something I can absolutely do, especially on Fridays because I'll have Saturdays off so I can stream a little bit later. And then Sundays is also great because I would have slept in that day. So Wednesdays might be a bit difficult, but I'm hoping they'll work out midweek. You know, you, you just got over that hump. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. So far so good. So I haven't been too, too bad as far as, I think I've been mostly just a little bit out of it sometimes because I'm super anxious about the holidays and oh my goodness people my family drama is just it's too much it's too much we could have our own sitcom I'm not gonna go into big details because it's not you know my place to share but it's just like it's I'm just I'm, I'm like I want I want this to be over so I can go back to my own thing um, not that I don't love my family it's just they're a bit much this year and we always throw the family new year's party and i just 
I was going to go out, but nobody's having anything this year. So I'm not going to go out. None of my friends are doing anything. Um, they're all kind of staying in. I mean, all my friends now are like getting married and having kids. So it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't want to go do that. Because mm. they're not going to stay up till midnight, obviously. Um, the last few years, my family hasn't even stayed up till midnight. Uh, they told me this year that it's going to happen. We're going to play a board game. We're going to bring in the new year. We're not going to go to bed at like 10. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? The only thing I look forward to is all the food. But I've been, ooh, I've been so freaking good about how much I've been eating. I've sort of, the last three weeks leading up to Christmas, I've been very strict about what I'm eating so that at Christmas time, you know, I could eat and not gain 10 pounds and then go into the new year being like sluggish and slow and feeling gross. So I feel so amazing. I feel energized and uh, just super happy with how it's all worked out in that aspect. Um, I'm definitely going to let myself go loose tomorrow. I thought I would tonight, but I'm just not that into it. I kind of want to go do the last minute Christmas stuff and then probably hop into bed, maybe watch a Christmas movie on Netflix, something like that. Um, I just haven't been into overeating, I guess, because I know the feeling of what it would feel like if I overate and I, I just don't want that. But tomorrow it's going to be potatoes and stuffing and all the trimmings and I don't eat turkey, so no turkey because I'm a vegetarian, but um, I feel like it'll be okay because we're going to go skating and skating is a ton of exercise and super draining so i'll be very hungry but also i'm more excited about all the chocolate i'm gonna get <laughs> that's what excites me the most i have a a heinous heinous sweet tooth i mean it is a it is almost to the point where it's an addiction and so this these past few weeks i've been very strict on my sugar intake because for me i can go overboard so easily so if i'm not super duper careful with it i will just eat and eat and eat and honestly i went to have some chocolates tonight because i was giving myself tonight as well um as tomorrow and i just i have three and i was like i can't eat anymore this is gonna make me throw up if i eat anymore and i was like whoa who is this person this is not the me i know because i know that i could eat an entire box of chocolates if i wanted to but i just i didn't want to i had i had four i had one earlier that today um and i was like i'm really full and would just like to go to bed now <laughs> so after this gotta do some last minute stuff i'm gonna take a bath gonna go to bed gonna sleep gonna wake up tomorrow i gotta make my stuffing at some point in the day i was gonna do it tonight but i'm just way too tired for that so i gotta make my stuffing at some point probably after presents before lunch i'm hoping to squeeze it in there uh, luckily I have my own, you know, stove here that won't be used, so I will pop it in here and then take it to my mom's, but I have to do that. And that's the only thing I really have to, I keep hitting my mic. I'm too excited. I keep, that's the only thing I really have to do tomorrow. Um, and take my dogs out, obviously. Um, but other than that, I think it's a pretty stress-free day tomorrow. I say that and it's not going to be. Something's going to go wrong. Someone's going to yell. Someone's going to scream. Someone's going to be upset. Someone's not going to get what they want. It's just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of those days because it's always one of those days. Um, not that my family's very much like, oh, I didn't get what I wanted this year because we're all adults and it's nobody's had kids yet in my family. None of my siblings have had kids. So no one's like, I wanted this, blah, blah, blah. It's more like... Uh, just I don't know my the family I open presents with is great because it's my immediate family it's my siblings and my mom and my siblings girlfriends and that's a bit awkward it's just I don't like one of them is that mean I just I don't and she's very annoying and loud and she's just not very nice and she's never been nice she's only nice when she wants something and it's just it's not great. Anyway, my other family's, the, like my bigger family, which is coming for New Year's, is the one that has all the drama. So <laughs> I can't wait to enjoy that. Anyway, guys, we are finishing up here. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay updated on all this nonsense, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And Merry Christmas or Happy Monday. And I will see you all in my next video. So have a great day, guys. Bye.